What's good, YouTube? It's your boy El Puppy Jr., aka Young Black Bruce Wayne, aka the Hood Savior. And as you can already tell from the title and the thumbnail, we got another daily, not daily, weekly super cross update type of video. So, yeah, man, make sure you guys hit that like button, comment, subscribe, you know, where I just go over my overall thoughts on super cross. That's what we're going to be doing here. And, um, yeah, man, basically, like, Triple Crown, Eli Tomax did it again in the video. Please, <laughs> it's your boy, a puppy junior. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh, but yeah, bro, Tomac basically, long story short, we all know Tomac basically handled business out there in Glendale, Arizona, once again. Now, <clears throat> in this Triple Crown format, I really thought Chase Sexton was really going to uh, win because, for one, he's literally always the fastest dude on the track. Don't forget that. I'm going to say that every video. He is the fastest dude on the track. But also, like, he's been struggling. Like, usually he was fall towards the second half of his races. Like, it seems like he would, like, start getting nervous or, like, I don't know, like, lose focus or anything. And then it kind of causes him to fall off the bike. Uh, so I was hoping that with during, with this triple crown format that he would be able to stay focused during all of his motos because dude like I said he's literally the fastest dude on the track bro it should never really come down to anything else bro like it, it's like not even close and like, the craziest thing about it is also in qualifiers Tomac he's not really the um he's second fastest obviously in qualifiers but on the track during the actual race I don't even think Tomac had the top five fastest lap, bro. Like, it was people like, like, like sprinters almost. Like, Adam Cinturillo and Ken Roxon, Jason Anderson, and I hope Jason Anderson is okay. He went down. He didn't come back in the moto. I don't know why he didn't because he's actually, like, fifth in points right now. So, that's really going to be a setback for him. But, yeah, bro, like, it just seems like he has something figured like he has it's a mind game bro it's really way more to it than just going out on the track and being fast bro like tomac chase sexton literally got passed by tomac and passed him within the next turn like that just goes to show the speed difference but tomac is he has something that that they don't have like cooper webb is nowhere near the fastest dude on the track but yet he's second overall and overall points he's only seven points behind tomac you know, that just goes to show that this is more to it than just speed. It's not. It's more to it than speed and consistency. It's like, it's like something that you really can't even explain, because I don't even know, bro. I don't even freaking know, bro. It, if I feel like honestly though, if every freaking round was triple crown format, that Chase Sexton would be the leader of this Supercross League, bro. It just bums me that. He's so fast, bro, and he just keeps crashing. It really reminds me of James Stewart. I mean, he didn't crash at Glendale, but, you know, just in general. It reminds me of James Stewart back in the days where he used to crash a whole lot. Literally the fastest dude on the track. You can't even, like, it's not even freaking close. Now, Chase Sexton it is kind of close, but James Stewart, bro, it was kind of like one second ahead, bro. Like, I'm talking about la fastest lap time at one point. And he just couldn't stay healthy and and really that affected his overall entire career you know like i hope he could get i hope chase sexton could get over this but for james stewart you know all those injuries although he still like basically was fast until the day he retired bro he just wasn't the same when he was coming back bro he was never that prime james stewart like in 2008 2009 you know we never got to see him ever again you know he was all he was pretty good on the suzuki but 2000 like 2008 2009 james stewart was never seen ever again bro <laughs> that dude was cracked out of his mind and um yeah if you want like i'm not it's like it's not even up for debate bro literally not even up for debate but um so yeah we got my boy jason anderson going down in the whoops and yeah man jason anderson has been fast all season bro i don't know what it is why he can't do anything bro it just seems i don't i don't know I have no clue. He's literally fat. He has the speed. I'm pretty sure he has. He, he has to probably just not have the fitness. He must be getting tired. But on paper, it really looks like dude is flying, bro. He had like the second fastest lap or 
third, fourth, something like that. I just know he was flying, bro. But he went down in the whoops. Also, Christian Craig went down the whoops in open practice, and that really had me feeling some type of way because, bro, like, Christian Craig was just now starting to, like, feel me? I think, like, he's on that new bike. I feel like he was just now starting to get the hang of things, get, just now starting to get his setup correct. Although it took him an entire Supercross season, you know, that's a little ridiculous. But, you know, I just wanted to see more out of him. You know, it just, it always sucks when anybody goes down, bro. This is why the sport is, it's a demanding sport. I'm not going to lie. That's why you have to love the sport. Like, going down, these, these dudes are not, these dudes aren't going down for the first time. Like, I literally seen Dylan Fernandez dang there break his neck and get up smiling. Like, they're kind of, like, used to this, bro. But to get to become used to this, you have to love the sport. The average person is not going to keep doing this, bro. Like, breaking shoulders and collarbones, concussions, uh, Ken Roxon almost lost his arm. Like, you know, you have to love the sport to do that, bro. Like, the average person is just not. I don't care how much money you put in their face. You're not dang there losing, risking your arm. Nothing is really worth your arm. But it seems like these people literally can't live without it. But And um, also we got Cameron McAdoo is out. Um, I don't even know when he got hurt, bro. He seems like he's just super injury prone, um, which sucks because he has a lot of speed, bro. He seemed to be like the only dude that could kind of contest Jet Lawrence. But, you know, Jet Lawrence had his little run-ins with RJ Hampshire. But it just seems like even when Jet Lawrence was on his slow lap, like RJ's fastest lap couldn't even really come close. Like he never really made up any time on Jet. You know, and just Jet is just simply on another level. I, I'm... T I cannot wait for that dude to go to the 450 class just to see what he's going to do. I'm very curious. I don't know if he's going to be like a championship winner or he's going to be, you know, I just, I'm like, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, but like he went through the whoops and one section and literally was like shaking his freaking head, bro. And I was just like, bro, what did you do wrong? I think he like missed the whoop or something, bro, but it was literally perfectly fine. It's not like he was dang near finna fall off the bike. Bro, he literally was shaking his head, like, mid-race. Bro, literally, like, palm, like, face palm mid-race, bro. That just goes to show, like, how much his expectations for himself. Like, Jet Lawrence, he's a different breed, bro. I'm going to be real. Uh, it's, it's really going to be hard for anybody to really compete with that <laughs> with that man in this, into this class. Like, I don't even see anybody just outright beating him, like, at all in the 250 class um so yeah that's why i say i can't wait for him to go to the 450 class so we can see him actually get some battles in some you know some <laughs> some grown man battles in. it's crazy that i say grown man because dude is literally like 19 years old and he's going to be competing with people like eli tomac which oh my goodness just thinking about that just gets me fired up bro i literally can't wait for it um other than that bro not really much else to talk about uh, this is Atlanta, by the way, on MX vs. ATV Legends. Um, I haven't really been playing this game much, but as you can see, like, once you got it, bro, this is live com, by the way. Once you got it, you really just don't lose it, you know. I'm not going to say I'm the fastest, but, you know, I can still get around the track. I can still do my thing. Um, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, bro, it's your boy, Puppy Jr. I'm out, bro.